is an actress, musician, mother, entrepreneur, philanthropist. The woman has done it all. Now she is opening up in her new series, Red Table Talk. Jada is here in just a minute, but first, a look back at her career. Jada Pinkett Smith has made her name in films like Set It Off, The Matrix, Madagascar, and Girls Trip. She burst onto the scene in the 90s hit, A Different World. Ha! Yeah. Soon after, Pinkett Smith auditioned for a role on the popular sitcom, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. My life got flipped, turned upside down. She didn't get the part, but she did get the man. After a whirlwind romance, she married Will Smith in 1997. They have since become one of Hollywood's biggest power couples, and the parents to Willow and Jaden Smith, who are young stars in their own right. Now, Jada Pinkett Smith is getting real and sharing the lessons she's learned in life and love in a new Facebook show called Red Table Talk. The table of passion, the table of truth, the red table. Hello, Facebook. The series features Pinkett Smith having very candid conversations with her mother, daughter, and various friends, covering topics from body image to parenting. I hate when I get up. I think parents have to give themselves much more forgiveness. Jada Pinkett Smith leaves it all on the table. As mothers, there's so much expectation to be perfect for your kids. It's okay. And yet your kids are going to be mad at you about it. And yet they're going to need therapy. <laughs> it's okay. But guess what? It's okay. Oh, love that. Please help me welcome Jada Pinkett Smith. We're going I today. Love this. this is awesome. I am loving this show. Thank you. And if you haven't checked it out, you have to because I understand Facebook just announced. Yes, we we're doing 13 more episodes. Yay. So, yeah. Yay. As well you should. It is completely unfiltered. So it the red table is why is it called that? Well, you know, it's it's the table of purification where we can bring subjects that may be difficult or not so easy to talk about. And it's also the table of transparency. It's the table of love, the table of passion, the table of friendship, the table of communion. And so and red it's in your home. Said, yeah, it's in my home. Right? Like, we <laughs> yeah. get to go inside her home and it, I, don't, I haven't seen anything that's been banned. I mean, you've yeah. gone to very intimate, revealing places. Yep. Why, why did you want to do this? You know, I, I think that at 47, I've come through so much, you know, and the one thing that, I, that I've realized in my life, people who have had the courage to share their testimonies with me have been such powerful elixirs. And I just felt like also in this world today, we talk so much about what's happening on the outside, and we don't talk enough about what's going on within us. And, yeah, I just... I wanted a place where we could feel safe to do that. And, you know, I, I, do, I do that often w within my own family. So I was like, well, you know, let's just share that. You are very open, and it's a credit to you, because I know you think it will help people if they hear you talking about these issues, and I completely agree. Um, you, there was a moment on the show, because your daughter, Willow's there. Yes. Who is amazing. She's, she's so evolved and yes. such a, like... <laughs> Deep thinker. I mean, yeah. she's, how old is she? She's, she's 17. She's only 17. She's yeah. a very impressive young woman. And she reveals to you that when she was younger and she was coming to fame at a young age, 10, with the whip my hair back and yeah. forth, that she, she described fame at one point as absolutely excruciatingly terrible. Yes. And admitted that she, she took to cutting. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, we're seeing more of in our young girls. Absolutely. You seemed shocked at that. I, I was, you know, but I, in that particular moment, Willow was speaking from a place of power. And as her mother, I needed to meet her there instead of 
crumbling in within my own insecurities or within my own doubts. Or, oh, my goodness, what did I do wrong? It was like my daughter was revealing something to me in a place of power in which she had come through. So in that moment, I had to meet her in that space that she was in and go, okay. <laughs> Listening to you here, I feel the way when I listen to you on the show, which is I, my feeling is how lucky your kids are to have you and will in this evolved space yourselves. Right. You didn't get there without a lot of hard work. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like that's real talk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot, a lot of hard work. You know, I was just sharing on my Instagram the other day, um, you know, of just those times that I was in such deep despair that I've also thought about taking my life, you know, and and how, you know, there's not one, there's not one answer. It's like life is a journey to help us get to a place of healing. And I wish somebody had told me that. I wish somebody had told me that it's going to be okay. You know, we're going to have obstacles. You're going to have difficult times. You're going to have really dark times, you know, but just understand, keep stepping because life starts to reveal itself to you and the light will come. Keep stepping. You know, I love it. So, you know, for me, that, that's another message that I just want to share because there's so many people that are going through such difficulty. Yeah, absolutely you know? right. Yeah. But it was brave of you. It's brave to admit having had any suicidal thoughts. And in this day and age with what we've seen last week, uh, really needed. I think more people just need to be honest about mental health, mental well-being. Jada is also open about how she's gotten herself to this healthy place and what she does every day. And also, there's a little birds and bees talk <laughs> on the show. We're going to talk about having the talk with your daughter, Willow, when we come back. My introduction to sex was obviously walking in on you and Daddy. That was the first introduction. What the hell did you, you walk in on us? You? It was in Utah. That one, No, not Utah, Aspen. I think it was in Aspen. I was going downstairs to get some juice, and I saw for a little moment, and I ran away. <laughs> that was a clip from the new Facebook watch show called Red Table Talk. We are here with Jada Pinkett Smith. There you saw her having some pretty candid conversations with her mom and her daughter <laughs> about her daughter Willow walking in on you yes. and Will in, in the act, shall we say. Yet another shocking moment. Uh, <laughs> You're learning a lot. I'm learning so much. Uh, and that was really interesting because I really wasn't expecting that one. But I, was, I know you're always so tuned in to like, are the doors locked? Where is everyone in the yeah, house? Am I like, good? Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. But you, like, as I said, no holds barred. You talked about how your grandmother taught you to self-pleasure yes, at age nine. She taught me about self-pleasuring. Okay, yes. so it wasn't like a how-to oh, manual. I, I, yeah, like a, <laughs> yeah, there was no tutorial. <laughs> No tutorial, but she did, she did explain to me the importance of it at nine years old. And that's when she taught me about the birds and the bees. And it was very different than what she had taught my mother. But I think it has a lot to do with what she learned from um, watching my mother and her other two daughters growing up as teenagers. I think she learned... Um, what didn't go so well. Right. And then she tried to correct that with me. And she was one of the first women in Baltimore to actually teach sex education in high school. Wow. Yeah. And you say, I know you felt like as a mom, you, you knew when your children had become oh, yeah. sexually active. I knew when Jaden for sure. The night. How? <laughs> the <laughs> night. <laughs> As a mother of three, I want to know, like, how? You know what? There's just a certain swag. <laughs> there is. It just, wa you know, he was walking different. <laughs> and there was just a, a loss of this. My little boy was gone. Oh, right. My little boy was gone. And I looked at him, and I was like, well, where have you been? <laughs> What's been going on? And he's like, oh, you know, it's just... With a friend, I was like, oh, okay, anything you want to tell me? And right away, because Jaden can't, he can't Aww. lie. Yeah. <laughs> tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, me right it's away. fun because I love hearing you talk about Will with your kids on the show. And there was this moment where you're talking about Jaden's ad campaign. And in a couple of them, he had on the skirt. Yes. And uh, there was a question about how, how Will Smith, yeah. your husband, reacted to Jaden in the skirt. Yep. 
And what did he say? Well, you know, it was actually before the campaign. He had gotten the offer. And so it was a whole bunch of conversation about it in the family. And Will called me and he was like, Jada, like, they're trying to put my son in a campaign with skirts. I mean, it's one thing if he <laughs> wants to live his life. Like, you know, if he wants to walk around the streets, okay, but a campaign? And I was like, Will, this is, this is what he wants. And ultimately, Will was like, okay, you're right. All right, cool. Yep, and, yeah. and got there. And got there. You, you raised these two kids who are extraordinary in, in the limelight, right? You, you talk openly about, obviously, you guys are successful. You have fame. They have their own fame. Yep. The pressures that that has put on your family. Yes. It's like most Hollywood celebrities wouldn't talk about it because they don't want to, because they're too private, they don't want to share, or they're worried that people out there will think they're doing a poor me routine yeah. in this life of privilege. That's not how you come across. Mm -hmm. You're just keeping it real. Yeah. It has its own challenges. It has its challenges, and big ones, you know? And I think that we can never forget that at the end of the day, we're all human. I, I really, whatever your lifestyle may be, what your nationality, your color, your gender, we, we all bleed the same color, you know? And, you know, it's just, um, it's just a good reminder of that, you know? Yep. Well, cause, because, you know, the kids didn't really enjoy their fame. No. Um, and yet it was theirs, whether they wanted it or not. Whether they wanted it or not. And that, that, that is, you know, even for Willow now, um, Jaden's come into himself a bit more in regards to it. But even Willow now is really hasn't decided if this is something she wants to do as a career. Unfortunately, she's part of a family that is in the spotlight. And that is something that she's had to deal with. And she's trying to figure out who she is and her and the life that she wants to have within that. Mm -hmm. How, okay, I'm a part of this family, but that doesn't mean I have to be of this Hollywood thing. And so she is definitely in the midst of figuring that out, and she's doing a pretty good job. So Jada reveals, uh, in, as part of the series, that she was asked for whom she grieved the most, what loss she's had in her life. And the answer was herself, mm -hmm. the loss of herself. That's where we're going to pick it up when we come back. Yeah. And we're back now with Jada Pinkett Smith, who does not shy away from any topic of discussion on her show, Red Table Talk, now streaming on Facebook Watch. So you were asked, what was the hardest you had ever grieved? Mm -hmm. And you said, the hardest I ever grieved was for myself. And talked about how giving up your career mm -hmm. for your children yeah. was a real battle for you. It was. I, not only giving up my career, but giving up the freedom and the lifestyle I had been used to. Um, it was just me. And, um, you know, Jaden was a surprise. He wasn't planned. <laughs> <laughs> a stowaway. All right, it was a stowaway, you know. And so my life changed quickly. And um, I, there was a lot of adjustment to make. And at that particular time, you know, Will's career was just taking off. And the, somebody has to hold the fort down at home, mm -hmm. you know? And, and so it was a very, it was very challenging in, you know, trying to figure out who I was supposed to be in this new life. Right. And having to die the death of the old Jada. But I think that you know, I kind of let a lot of that old Jada go that I didn't have to. You know, it was kind of my idea of what I thought a mother should be, what I thought um, being in a family or being in a partnership uh, was supposed to look like. Instead of looking at myself and going, what is it that I need that makes me happy within this new, you know, lifestyle? We don't ask ourselves that we enough. We don't. What would make me happy? What would make me happy? As opposed happy? to what should I do? Yeah. And so once I started to take responsibility for what would make me happy and having the courage to step outside of all the boxes mm -hmm. that people thought I should sit within, I got a lot more happy. How is it feeling now? Because now, I mean, Girl's Trip was the funniest movie. We were just talking about <laughs> the funniest movie ever. And now you're, get, you're back in the saddle now. Right. So how is that feeling to you? 
It feels good. It really does. It feels good to be able to have my family and myself, you know, along with just my life outside of my family as well, you know, and it feels good to just feel more of a whole woman. And of course, I'm still on the journey yep. to complete that, but I feel like I have more of who I truly am. How long have you and Will been married now? Oh, we've been married 20 years. Uh. And you guys have been very open about, you've gotten couples therapy. Love therapy, love, can, cannot recommend therapy enough. Um, <laughs> but how, how, how is it? And how have you lasted this long? You know, it's very interesting because Will and I have a very unique partnership. And we'll, we're going to be talking about that at the Red Table for the next 13. Oh, yeah. oh, good. Yeah, we have a very, very, very unique partnership. And it's really great because when you get to a place where you can love someone and allow them to be exactly who they are. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, not have you know all of these expectations of like you need to be this for me or you know I can't be here for you or what have you I've just through my journey have lo learned to love him um, in in the most pure way and, and love everything that comes with that mm -hmm. you know and he's learning to do the same <laughs> It's our pleasure to watch it all. I'm looking forward to seeing Will Smith at the Red Table. Oh, he's coming to the Red Table for sure. I all think right, he'll good. be the first one up. Oh, yeah. good. We'll be yeah. tuning in for that. Jada, yeah. such a pleasure. It's so wonderful. Thank to you be for here. the show. Yeah. Don't forget, you can watch new Red Table Talk episodes Mondays on Facebook Watch. We'll be right back. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.